Hello, welcome to SS Unitex Social this side and this is continuation of PySpark tutorial. So in this video we are going to see about the split function inside the PySpark. So what is the split function? So PySpark SQL provides the split function and it is used to convert with the delimiter separator string to an array column on data frame. So this can be done by splitting a string column based on the delimiter like the pipeline or comma or space or anything. So you can assume we will be having a column and that column is having the values like one comma two, maybe comma three like that. And this split function will help us to split these three values into three different columns. So first column will be having one, second column will be having two and the third column will be having three. And according to our need, we will be going to select all these columns. So let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to see in practical. So here I am creating this data frame and this data frame is having total four columns with the first name, middle name, last name and date of birth. So let me try to execute this. So here in the output, we can see it is having total four columns. Now the requirement is we can see we have the date of birth. So actual requirement, we just want to split date of birth into three different columns. First column will be year then month, then date. So accordingly, we will be going to split it. So how we can do that? First, we have to import this function. So for that, we can use the from pyspark.sql.functions. Then we can use import and I'm going to import all the functions. So we can simply use the aspic here. Now, by two ways, we can achieve this. So first, by using with column and second, by using select so we'll be going to see both first let's start with the with column so i'm going to create a new data frame that is df1 and here we can use the df dot then we can use the with column version here we can specify the bracket so this is asking two parameter the first parameter will be the name of the column so that may be year and the second parameter what will be the value of this column so the value of this column will be getting from this date of birth so we can use the split function so here we can use split function and here we want to split from this data frame and the column that is the date of birth so from this column we just want to split second we have to specify the delimiter so under the split first parameter is your string and second parameter the delimiter so in our case delimiter is this minus so we can specify this so now you can understand here it is having total three argument the first is year second is month and third is day first we want to get the first argument so for getting the first argument only from this split we can use the get item so in this get item we can specify index as zero so what it will do it is going to written only year part from this so let me use the display command here and under the display we can use df1 let me execute it and we'll see the output so we can see we are having year here so first four we are getting from the data frame and this additional column we have added now for adding the another month so we can use the same with column again and this time maybe we can go with the argument as one so this is going to pick for month let me execute and we'll see the output okay here we have to specify the backslash because we are adding this in next line so here we can see month is coming similarly we can add for one more as get item value as two so this will be going to return as day so here let me rename this column as day so we will see three additional columns with year month and day so simply we can use this function and if you are thinking this function is a little bit lengthy to use multiple places then we can simply use this function over here and specify in a variable so i'm going to specify in this variable which is the split so under this split variable we are using it so instead of using this complete we can only use this variable so both will work so let me replace all these and let me execute so we'll see the output we'll see the same output here
so this is the first way by which we can achieve it the second option we can also use with the select statement so how we can do that let me try to put in df1 and df dot select and inside the select we can specify only required columns so maybe I am going to select the first name then I am going to select the middle name then I am going to select last name I am not going to select date of birth here so simply we can use the split function here so we have used the split in a variable that you can see here we have this split variable so simply I am going to use this split variable here so let me use this split variable dot here we can select get item so which parameter we want so we want a first parameter and we have to specify the alias name of this so this alias will be for year and let me try to display this df1 this time it will be adding one more column here so that is year now we can see that similarly let me try to copy this split and add one more time and one more time this is for month and here we can use one and this is for day and this will be two for the get item let me execute and we'll see the output so we can see year month and day in three different columns so these two ways by which we can achieve this so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos see you in the next video